Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So, I went out and I foraged. I got some flowers. Um, I made these little vases. Oh, thank you. And I have some other ones. Because right now, I'm thinking a lot of my like big flowers and stuff that I have going on for the farmer's market will probably be more like July. But I signed up for the farmer's market and I feel bad saying I'm not going to be there every week. So I thought, well, I'll go forage some stuff. I'll try to put some bouquets together and I'll go up there and just at least have a weekend where I like set up my tent and I get used to standing up there and know what I'm missing before my bigger and prettier flowers come in. But I am going to have a lot of pretty flowers, I think. So exciting. And then I've been getting, slowly I've been getting everything ready for the farmer's market. So, let me see. I have this room that I've like, kind of stored everything. I've got my table, I've got my tent. I still have to practice setting up my tent. I don't really know how to do it. And I got these little things and I just made some, like, <laughs> they just clip on. I just put on some magnets on the back and laminated a piece of paper and then I can like set these out and then put the bouquets around it later when I have taller flowers I'll probably use these to sell like my single stems and stuff like that but for now I think I'll just use them as little like magnet holders made a little sign I got my little cash box ready and then I have a little our farmer's market wants you to have like your name and what you do, so I had that made. So exciting. So I'm going to try to make a bouquet. That's not really like I really want to grow the flowers and sell them wholesale, but to get my name out there, um, I think I'm going to have to hit up some farmer markets around the state and sell bouquets, which is not my specialty. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to put one together and then I'll be back. I don't know why, but this makes me like really nervous. But I think that they're turning out. I think they're like look really pretty. I think that they're turning out cute though. So I have a couple of peonies in these taller vases. I am trying some day lilies. I have read up on them and sometimes they don't last as long. But maybe at the market, I'll just tell people. I think it'd still be pretty even if it wasn't in there. So if they shovel up or something, maybe they can just pick them off. I don't know if that's the best thing to tell people. But the peonies should last. Because I just got them out. And then here's another one. And then my one and only snapdragon is in this vase with the cute little kissing couple. <laughs> but I think that they're all coming together. I think they're cute. And then I just tried making a smaller one. I think it's cute. Is these are my first bouquets that I've ever thrown together. But those are the flowers and some of the greenery and some of the filler I have. And as the summer goes on, I should have a lot more like my zinnias and marigolds. And I don't know how the snapdragons, maybe this fall, I'll have a bunch of those. Um, the peonies probably will run out, but I want to plant a lot more this fall. Always, every time I do a video. Maggie, smile on camera. <laughs> I don't know if you've watched my videos before, Maggie always tends to take a drink right when I'm doing a video in the kitchen. But yeah, so I'm going to get to it and try to fill the rest of these. So, as you know, I am not a floral designer. But I don't think I did too bad, guys. I'm excited. I'm going to have flowers tomorrow at the farmer's market. I did a bunch of these like little vases. So these are just the ones where I took like a jar and put a little bit of stuff around it. 
And then I try to put like a peony in each one of the littler ones. Or um, a lily. Or just something that I thought was really pretty. Um, and then I've got... These actually worked out really well, these bags. Like they don't... The flowers don't even have to go down all the way in them. And they look pretty good. So, I've got some bags, and I've got a few, like, bigger bouquets in jars. And then, I think that, I think that they're looking good. It's a little back up. Like I said, it's not a huge farmer's market, so I think this will be plenty. It might be a little too much. Um, but I think it'll look pretty. Maybe it'll catch somebody's eye driving by and they'll be like, what is that over there? It looks pretty. I think we'll check out this farmer's market. <laughs> All right. So one thing that I did notice as I was doing these, so I'm just going to show you really quick. So I wrap my peonies. Um, I wrap some in saran wrap and then I wrapped others in newspaper. I didn't have luck with the newspaper. So I don't know, I don't know. Some people say that they do that. Um, but the ones that, like the news, it just didn't, like they don't look good. That penny's gonna be really pretty when it opens up. And sometimes I put like two or three in the vase, just, just in case, I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, they didn't get beautiful flowers. But these all look like they're gonna open and just look really, really pretty, so. So I think they should be good. I think they should last somebody just as long. Any bouquet that you buy. Um, of course, if you actually come to the Knoxville's Farmer Market and for any reason a flower doesn't like last, let me know. Like, really, I won't think that you're complaining because you can say you saw my video and I requested you tell me. But I, I would rather know as a newbie, like I would rather know that I need to, you know, maybe condition a flower differently than I did it. Like, there's so many different ways that you can do different flowers after you cut them. Like, some of them you can just let them sit dry in a refrigerator. And some of them have to go directly into water. And some of them like floral food. And some of them don't like floral food. And it is, it's a lot to actually know being a farmer without even putting it, you know, like I would rather like be the farmer and not do this, but everybody has to like learn what I have. Right. And how is that going to happen if I don't get out there and do stuff like this and take pictures and maybe get my website going? I started a website, but I don't know if, I don't know how many people out there like create or do their own websites, <laughs> but it does take a lot of time. I think, I mean, it didn't take me very long to make the website. Like that was pretty, I did that in, in that like half of an afternoon, not a big deal. But like there are hundreds of flowers as you've seen in my gardens and to actually take a good picture of all of those flowers. You know, you can't just have some like bad picture or like a bad picture is not gonna sell your flower. So you have to take good pictures in good lighting so, and then like not all of my flowers have even opened yet. So this first year, I have to remember to try to get pictures of everything that I am going to be willing to like ship and sell and do wholesale. But then you also need to like write up care instructions and you need to, you know, there's just, there's a lot. Like you guys have gone to websites, like there's a lot of information. And if you're a florist and you want to know how long the stems are, you want to know, you know, the vase life, you might want to know the care instructions. So all of that stuff has to go on each page of each flower. And right now I'm looking at a list of over 200 like flowers and fillers. So, you know, just setting up one item on my website can take me like an hour. So there's just a lot of time. So my website is just kind of like, it's kind of janky right now. Whatever. I've been farming. So, and then I did like that on the side. But anyway, I just keep looking. I'm sorry. I'm not even talking to you guys really because I keep looking at my flowers. 
it's just a sea of flowers. There's the Miaro. It wasn't very tall yet. And then baby's breath. It's so pretty. Some lamb's ear. I really like that lamb's ear. It does smell strong, but oh my god, it's pretty. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. Some peonies. I guess florists probably like cut this off. A farmer's market. Maybe people will just expect it not to be as nice. And then I did, I tried to throw some lavender in, but it's not really ready yet. <laughs> but you guys know me and my lavender. I love it. I couldn't not throw a sprig of lavender in or a few or maybe like 20. Even though it wasn't ready, it might look wilty, but. So tomorrow's the big day. I'm going to go and I think tonight we're going to make sure that I can set up the tent. And then go in the morning and set up a little table and hopefully I can sell some. And if not, I think I will probably just give some of them away. Because there's been a lot of people that have helped me with the farm. And honestly, I just, I don't see selling all of these. I don't know. Um. Maybe, but I think I just made 20. I mean, I think that's, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that maybe I sell five. Like, I think five will be good for my very first time and nobody really knows that I'm there and, you know, so I'm excited about that. And then maybe I can give the other ones away to people that have helped me on this journey. And I did take a lot. Of, I should like bring flowers to people, like a lot. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe I should give them to them before I go to the farmer's market. No, I don't think I'll sell them. Okay, anyway. I'll go rambling. First farmer's market. Yay! If you have any questions, if you see anything that concerns you in my bouquets, let me know <laughs> before tomorrow. Um, I think that's it. Wish me luck. Cool looking here. Everybody have a beautiful, beautiful day.